Hi, my name is Rich Board, and I'm the owner of Cruz RO Water and Technotics. And today I wanted to talk about using the Honda 2000 generator as a way to power our 20 and 30 gallon per hour water makers. So first I wanted to talk about the differences be between the 20 and the 30 and then you'll understand why both of those can be powered using the same Honda 2000. The only difference between the 20 and the 30 besides the $855 price difference and 10 extra gallons per hour output is that the 20 uses one 40 inch RO pressure vessel and the 30 has two plumbed in series. So you have that $855 price difference with basically he's paying for the second RO pressure vessel and membrane. So the 20 and the 30 are using the same one horsepower motor which is why both can be powered by the Honda 2000. So when we were living in Mexico and floating around in anchorages, we looked around and said, look at all these Honda 2000s on the decks of boats. People either had a diesel jet set or a lot of them either had a Honda 2000 or they wanted a Honda because they just couldn't keep up with their daily power supply demands and they didn't want to run their main engine for, to produce power. So we looked around and said, we want to make a water maker under the design criteria that the Honda generator can both power it and charge the batteries at the same time. We kind of looked at that as the holy grail in our design uh, criteria. So what we came up with is a one horsepower motor that uses 9.3 amps at 115 volts, basically 1100 watts. So that's able to run on the Honda because the Honda is able to produce nine, excuse me, 13.3 amps at 115 volts continually. So we were able to come in below the Honda's steady state rated output, which is 13.3. We're able to start the one horsepower motor startup current. Then we're able to have a 40 amp DC battery charger running at the same time we're making water. So I think it's a pretty good fit in terms of getting the efficiency out of the Honda. We also tested the Yamaha 2000 and the Costco generator that they sell that's a 2000. And unfortunately those two generators are seeing the capacitor start and the capacitor run on our one horsepower motor as a short. So the Yamaha 2000 and the Costco Generator 2000 won't work to power our water makers. So that's an important point if you're considering those generators and you're looking at one of our water makers. So the Honda again will put out a constant 13.3 amps at 120 volts with a 30 minute uh, capacity of 16.7. So what we do is we plug the Honda generator right into our ship shore power cord. You can, you can basically have two ways to go with that. We're, be, we're cheap, so we use the normal Honda 2000 generator that has a regular three-pronged uh, cord. Or for $100 more, you can buy the Honda Companion model, which has a 30-amp twist lock so it makes it real easy to plug your shore power cord in. We just made a cheap pigtail to splice between our shore power cord and the Honda. But, you know, if you got a hundred bucks to spare, you want to spend a thousand fifty dollars for your Honda versus nine fifty, then you can get that 30 amp twist lock, which is a pretty convenient feature. But we put the Honda up on deck, plug the shore power cord right in, that way we're able to run the water maker and once the water maker gets running we start up either a battery charger, we energize our ship's AC plugs so we plug in our laptops, we run our other charging devices so that when we're making water 20 or 30 gallons per hour from the Honda we're either putting 40 amps DC into the battery bank or we're charging our other devices at the same time. And the Honda, on the test we've done, will run either the 20 or the 30 gallon per hour water maker for five hours on a single gallon of gas, which is the gas tank of the Honda. So when I see a five gallon jerry can of fuel with the 20 gallon per hour unit, I'm looking at 100 gallons of water, excuse me, 500 gallons of water possibility or if I have a 30 gallon per hour unit, 
there's the capacity to make 750 gallons per hour. So that's a lot of water when you talk about the quantity of fuel you want to carry. You're already carrying gas perhaps for your outboard engine. So if some of that gas is dedicated to your Honda generator, you can make a bunch of water quickly and charge your batteries at the same time. So typically on our battery charger, we have the ability to dial up the output. So when we're making water, we dial the output of the battery charger down to 40 amps DC. So we're able to keep it within the power range of the Honda. When we're not running the water maker, we dial up the battery charger up to 70 or 80 amps so we can efficiently charge and make water separately or do them both at the same time while using the Honda, depending on how you want to go. The 40 gallon per hour water maker is too large an AC motor to run off the Honda. It uses a one and a half horsepower motor which even though that motor only uses 13.3 amps continually when it's running, the startup current on that one and a half horsepower motor is going to push that Honda right to the end. So we don't recommend trying to run the 40 gallon per hour water maker off the Honda. The 20 and the 30 with the one horsepower motor, no problem. You can run that for five hours on a single gallon of gas. And in terms of powering the water maker, what we do is when we're at anchor, we use the Honda to run the water maker, charge the batteries. Then when we're underway, once the batteries become charged where the alternator isn't doing a lot, we have a 2000 watt inverter aboard, inverter. So we're able to use the alternator to help supplement the battery power to make water when we're underway. That way if the Honda generator mysteriously goes missing at night, falls overboard, who knows what can happen on a cruising boat, you still have a backup way to make water and that's through your 2000 watt inverter when your battery, when your alternator is running. Now that 9.3 amps at 115 volt that the one horsepower motor is going to use in the 20 or the 30 gallon per hour water maker, that equates to about 100 amps DC. So even though theoretically on paper you can run a hundred amp load off of your battery banks with wind and solar, in real life that isn't something that I would recommend you, you want to set up as a normal way to, to run your unit. You either need a diesel gen set or a Honda generator and as a backup device you can use your, your uh, 2000 watt inverter when your alternator is running. But I don't think it's realistic for the way cruising boats typically operate with their battery size uh, ranges to think you're going to sit at anchor off wind and solar and run a 100 amp uh, uh, DC load. Even though you think I got a 900 amp hour bank, that's 100 amps, oh I can put that back in. The problem is when you're pulling that many amps out of your battery bank, you're really taxing it. So I would only do that when your alternator's running, supplementing that power load. If you guys have any questions about our water makers, or how you're running them off the Honda generator, just give us a, an email or a call. Our email's on the website and is our seven day a week telephone number at cruiseROwater.com. This is Rich aboard our Hudson Force 53rd day floating in Morro Bay, California. Thanks for watching.